According to the World Health Organization last year, cardiovascular diseases were determined as being the leading cause of death across the world. Arrhythmia is one of those cardiovascular diseases that can eventually lead to death if not treated properly. And for over 15 years, a team of doctors have been focusing their efforts on, on finding new and better methods of treatment. It's these doctors at the Arrhythmia Center at Korea University Annam Hospital who are breaking new grounds of arrhythmia treatment in Korea. A sudden irregularity in the heartbeat can threaten your health and sometimes even your life. Korea University's Arrhythmia Center was the first to introduce surgical procedures in the country and now boasts a high rate of full recovery in the world. It's at the tip of their fingers that people's hearts each day are finding a steady and healthy pace. Arrhythmia refers to a condition in which the heartbeat loses its rhythm and becomes irregular. According to the World Health Organization, roughly 17 million people died from cardiovascular diseases in 2011, and of those deaths, 20% were caused by arrhythmia. A patient who is unable to go about his daily routine because of this condition is at the Korea University Arrhythmia Center. If I work too hard or do something too physical, it's hard to breathe. So that makes it really difficult. The condition that Song has is atrial fibrillation, where the atria contracts very fast and irregularly. It's one of the most common forms of arrhythmia, but even with one bad heartbeat, it can be life-threatening or leave you with severe side effects. Patients who have atrial fibrillation can suffer from a deformation in the heart, which can lead to renal failure, or there are higher chances of getting dementia and other diseases. That is why these days it requires more proactive treatment. The most common method used for treatment these days is catheter ablation. This procedure was first introduced in the country by the Korea University Center 15 years ago. Catheter ablation uses a catheter or wire to remove each and every part of the heart that causes atrial fibrillation. The Arrhythmia Center at Korea University's Annam Hospital holds the largest number of cases for this procedure, reaching up to some 2,500 patients. In the case of patients who have had the condition for chronic patients of over five years, the rate is between 65 to 70 percent. For those between two to five years, it's 85 percent. And for less than two years, the rate stands at 95 percent. Also, no lives have been lost during these some 2,500 procedures. The most important element is experience, and we have a lot of it. Using our teamwork, we continue to look for the troublesome areas that cause arrhythmia until we find them and can completely remove them. And the other important aspect is how you can comprehensively analyze the system. All of this comes with extensive experience, and that's what I think sets us apart. Also, two years ago, the team introduced a new technology for the first time in the country that takes an umbrella-shaped device and places it around the left atrium to prevent blood clots. This helps patients who have to take anticoagulants by getting rid of any unwanted side effects. Always staying one step ahead of the game, the centre is rewriting the history of arrhythmia treatment in the country. There are a lot of different types of arrhythmia, but especially for atrial fibrillation, the more chronic it gets, the more deformations there are to the heart. So early treatment is very important. Our job is to identify the patients with high risks and remove the dangers to prevent sudden deaths from heart conditions.